Uh, thank you, Chairman Duncan, Ranking Member DeJet, uh, members of the subcommittee. I uh, appreciate the opportunity to be here with my colleagues from FERC and speak to you. Uh, your focus is reliability, and I'm going to speak to reliability. I think we're heading for potentially very dire consequences, ca potentially catastrophic consequences in the United States in terms of the reliability of our grid. And I think that the basic reason is we're facing a shortfall of power supply. You know, the, 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 the term we use is resource adequacy, but what we're really talking about is a potentially a shortfall in power supply. You have to remember about the grid. The grid has to have power being fed into it every second of every minute of every hour of every day to keep the lights on. It, it, you can't store it up and bring it out next day. So because of that, you have to have a power supply that is feeding into the grid on a continuous basis. We can't tolerate shortages because shortages mean, means the lights go out. So what's going on now? And what is the threat to reliability? In summary, what the threat is is this. We are facing cascading retirements of dispatchable resources, specifically coal and a lesser extent gas. And the problem with losing that many dispatchable resources is you're losing the supply that's going to keep the lights on. And the problem is not the addition of wind and solar. Really, the problem is the subtraction of coal and gas and other dispatchable resources, which are the ones that we need during this transition to keep the lights on. That's the fundamental problem. This is not just Mark Christie saying this. We have been warned repeatedly from NERC, the reliability experts for the country, that this is exactly what's going on. We're losing dispatchable resources at a pace that is unsustainable for keeping the lights on. NERC has been telling this, us this over and over and over. We're hearing it from the major RTOs. PJM, which is the largest uh, RTO in terms of consumers served. MISO, which is the largest RTO in terms of geography. It covers the Midwest and parts of the Southeast. We just heard it last week from New York system operator, the New York ISO. All the same message. We are losing dispatchable resources at a pace that we can't keep the lights on if we need to continue to do this. And so that is the fundamental problem that we're facing that threatens reliability. 